Hey angels, so glad to see you guys back for another fire video So in today's video, I am going to be Doing a topic um, I'm gonna be giving out some Knowledge And advice so, if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and turn your notification bell on. And if you are an oldie, welcome back. I'm so happy to see you back for another fire video. So, today we're doing some ASMR. So, this topic and whisper should be able to relax. Now, you might hear some rain in the background, but rain is always a good relaxer. So, yeah. So, make sure that you're subscribed, turn on the notification bell, give this video a like, and make sure to leave a comment on what you think of this topic. So today we're going to discuss when people give their opinions, rude opinions on things that they weren't invited to or no one asked them about. For instance, it's like no one asked you, but you just put your rude opinion in, you know, and you just make someone feel horrible with your opinion, even though they didn't ask anything. Like, one popular rude opinion that a lot of people like to give for people that I can't stand. Cannot stand this when people say, Oh, you gained weight. Why do people say that to people? Tell me. Did that person ask you, Did they gain weight? Mm, no. But yet, you find it okay to say you've gained weight. I never understood that. Help me understand why is it important for you to tell this person that they've gained weight? What does that do for you? What? So that's like one example. A lot of people like to, you know, tell people, Oh, you've gained weight. You're fat. These comments are so rude. Every time I hear somebody say that to somebody, it pisses me off. If you feel that that person has gained weight or if you feel that this person is fat, keep it to yourself unless that person asks your opinion. If that person asks you, am I fat? If you believe that they're fat, then at that point, then it's okay to say what you feel. But if no one asks you that question, keep it to yourself. It's so easy. I've never in my life have told a person, you are fat or you have gained weight unless they ask me. 
Now, I'm guilty of telling somebody you're fat if this person does something to me. You know, something bad, says something bad to me, you know, when I'm minding my business and we get in an argument. Probably. I've probably have done that before. But that's different. I have never told a person out the blue when they have not asked my opinion that you're fat, you've gained weight. Um, so I really don't understand when people do that to other people. Like, I don't. You have no idea what this person is going through. This person could have anorexia, bulimia. This person could be feeling really bad about something that just happened. Then you come along and then you say that to them and then you just throw them off. You make things worse for them. And if that person goes off on you, then you're gonna, you're gonna feel like, what did I do? That's another thing I don't get. People will say certain things, but then when you go off on them, they're like, what did I do? Or, I was just playing with you. Or, I was just joking. It's not a joke. <laughs> it's nothing to play with. And you deserve what you got. <laughs> so, yeah. Those are some things that is on my mind today. Um, that's just a big pet peeve of mine. And... <laughs> Okay. Sometimes people will, will tell somebody that they don't know at all. You're so short. You're so tall. That might also hurt some people's feelings as well. You don't know. You don't know. That's why it's important. It's very important to not give out rude opinions when nobody asks you for your opinion in the first place. Because you don't know if you're going if you're going to uh, offend a person. That's important. Um I mean, I've had so, so many people um, throughout my life gave me rude opinions that I never asked for. So you can imagine me going off on people when they do that. Uh, now it's going to get worse. If someone asks me something. No, 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 no. Let's take that back. If someone tells me something rude. Give me a rude opinion. Now, like. In the present. It's going to be so bad. Like, I'm going to feel sorry for them. Because I'm just going to let them have it. When I say I am tired of people, I'm literally tired of people. Literally, I'm tired of people. So... I'll definitely let them have it. (laughs) 
so um angels let me know what you think of this topic um i don't want to go on too long but i'm pretty sure you guys get the idea of what i'm talking about um let me know if you've encountered a lot of rude opinions from other people you did not ask them for those opinions but for some reason the people just want to give you their rude ass opinion how did you deal with it how do you deal with it you know I feel like most people feel like they just have to shut that off you know and just deal with that themselves but you don't have to speak your mind if someone tells you something rude and you didn't ask for it tell them how you feel then more and more people will learn to shut their mouths if you hurt their feelings they will learn to sh shut their mouth then we wouldn't have these rude comments rude opinions I don't like I really don't understand how someone who's really who's somebody who is obese right to t look at you and say you're fat and the reason they do it because they feel like people are not gonna respond back to that but um if someone looks at you and say you're fat just say you're fat too or just say you're obese just tell them the truth you know then maybe they'll shut up so let me know angels what you guys think of this topic today I hope that I have given out some great knowledge to people and advice and um, until next time we have a lot of more topics to cover angels and I'll see you guys in my next video